I just made a few minor improvements to my CDV700 to make it more field proof but I suppose this could be of interest to others and give them some ideas so I'm uploading this first of all I made a proper shield for it uh, you can just use some kind of plastic but I didn't have any plastic so I used um, those laminating foils and just uh, put eight or whatever together and just sent them through the machine a couple of times until it was at uh, least see-through and uh, stuck together and then I used an old mouse pad as you can see those cheap ones you sometimes get with advertising on and just uh, fix that on with super glue and then you can insert the probe which fits nicely you can of course um, take off that alpha shield if you want because if you take out the probe you can measure alpha and just put it in and it will be yeah kinda kinda safe behind that uh, piece of plastic I suppose it's pretty solid but I also created a shield so only hard beaters and gamma radiation can in can get in by um, using this 2 millimeter thick aluminum slice and uh, fitting it into a uh, mouse pad as well just so it fits in nicely and you can see it fits in about perfectly so you can flip around and it won't fall out but when you put the probe in you can see it fits very tightly as well you have to sort of push it in it will fit nicely and not fall off as well but just to be double sure I'm attaching some of these rings here so you can see that makes a very good shield for the probe I choose it either from just mostly alpha and weak beaters and protects it from damage or with that uh, aluminum sheet included it allows you to measure just hard radiation hard beaters and gamma radiation so that's my mod to the probe it would look like this with uh, just a damage protection that should work just fine I also put on this shoulder strap from some freebie bag I got at that air show. I just have enough of these so I took apart that bag and took the straps off and attached them to the side here with the uh, velcro straps because um, they're not really detachable. I didn't have anything to make them detachable so I'm just using this velcro thing here. doesn't perfectly work but it's good enough. So I can just put that on my shoulder like this and I also made a uh, nice handle for it it's just a uh, temporary solution with just a very uh, thin slice of aluminum from an old device and uh, a paintbrush handle which I just fixed in with some virus below there so I put on um, some duct tape so nobody gets hurt and there's a probe as you can see I can handle it like this I hold it just above the ground you can see it's a bit floppy because it's very lightweight so this may just be a temporary solution but it will work for now so let's see if we can find anything with that probe yeah there's a little something here And there's a hot spot here as well. Well, you can pretty much precisely make out a spot with a uranium ore. So, or here with a, just a very tiny piece of thorium ore. It works as well, so that's really good.